as this project will be the first subway system in the Philippines. Good news! Tunnel Boring Machine or TBM ng Metro Manila Subway Project ni launch na. Minarkahan ni Pangulong Ferdinand Marcos Jr. ang araw na ito bilang simula ng underground works para sa tinaguriang Project of the Century ng bansa. Itong umaga lang ng lunes, pinangunahan ni PBBM ang paglulunsad ng Metro Manila Subway Project tunnel boring machine sa depo nito sa barangay Ugong, Valenzuela City. Kapag ganap ng operational, ang crown jewel ng public transportation system sa Pilipinas ay makapagsisilbi ng nasa mahigit 500,000 pasahero kada araw. Mapaiikli naman ang travel time sa pagitan ng Quezon City at Naiya sa 35 minutes na lamang mula sa isang oras at tatlumpung minuto. Panorin po natin ang ilang clips sa pasidaya ni Pangulong BBM sa tunnel boring machine sa Barangay Ugong, Valenzuela City. On behalf of the Valenzuelanos, it is an honor to welcome you once again to the city of Valenzuela, the northern gateway to Metro Ma- Metropolitan Manila. Almost four years ago, We celebrated the groundbreaking ceremony of the country's first ever underground railway system, the Metro Manila Subway Project, here in Barangay Ugo, where the Metro Manila Subway Depot will be built. The City of Government of Valenzuela, headed by yours truly, and then City Mayor, now First District Congressman Rex Gachadan, has already expressed and respectfully reinstates its full commitment and support to what we call the Project of the Century. This ceremony will officially mark the commencement of tunnel, tunneling works of our much-awaited project. Today, as we move closer to one of the boldest and most ambitious projects of this administration and reach one of the significant milestones in the Metro Manila subway project, we, from the City of Valenzuela, would like to congratulate President Bongbong Marcos, Secretary Jaime Bautista, Undersecretary Cesar Chavez, and the rest of the Department of Transportation and JICA team for the successful launching. Likewise, the speedy transport from north NSCR and south through the subway will not only allow connectivity and support to the Valenzuela working population, but also provide a great relief to the thousands of commuters in the city who travel from north to south every day. Without a doubt, the two mega transport projects once fully constructed will definitely help Filipinos, especially when it comes to ease in commuting, entrepreneurship, and job generation. Today, we will witness its initial round on the way forward to a remarkable journey of the railway system in the Philippines. As we gather here today, OCG, as the engineer of this remarkable project, will ensure its commitment and you to provide support and help the Filipino people to achieve the goal of having a convenient, comfortable, and affordable transport system in the near future. And friends, magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat at manigong bagong taong. 
I'm very grateful and honored to be here today. Let me highlight many firsts. The launching of the first tunnel boring machine of the first civil war contract and uh, the first ever subway project in the very first month of this year. Finally, we make our dreams come true with the cooperation of Japan. We JICA acknowledges many challenges such as land acquisition and right of way matters, timely budget allocation and the contract payments, influence of the COVID-19 pandemic. Furthermore, due to the serious traffic congestion on the ground, we know that the esteemed Philippine government is hard pressed to construct this first ever subway with full speed ahead, along with other major railway projects such as NCR, LRT1 and LRT2 extensions to alleviate congestions by safe, reliable, comfortable, and environmental friendly railways. In this regard, I sincerely congratulate on today's event of this flagship project, a project of the century, in line with the BBM policy of the BBM administration. At the same time, I admire the leadership of His Excellency Secretary Bautista and Under Secretary Chavez for this project with full speed ahead. This is a project map of overall Metro Manila subway project, and our construction project, CP101, is located at the north end. This package consists of depot, three stations, Kirino Highway Station, Tandansara Station, North Avenue Station, and six tunnels between them. Additionally, East Valenzuela Station will be constructed in the depot area too. They are located along Mindanao Avenue and total length is 6.9 kilometers. I will show the latest condition of depot and three stations. Firstly, depot area. Main work was started in depot launching shaft and PRI, Philippine Railway Institute, in 2021. In other area, pre-construction work is ongoing. In Kirino Highway Station, pre-construction work is ongoing, so demolition of buildings. In Tandansara Station, pre-construction work is ongoing too, so demolition and utility relocation. In North Avenue Station, Main work was started in August 2021. Now station construction is ongoing. Now I will show ongoing works. This is PRI building. Now third floor construction is ongoing. Then this is the launching shaft where we are. Tunnel segment production is ongoing in Bulacan. Then this is a segment stockyard. Totally 1,727 links are casted. Next, I'd like to focus on tunnel works. This is the longitudinal section of this project. For tunnel construction, six tunnel boring machine will be used. The tunnel will be constructed 18.5 meters below the ground level, and total length of six tunnel is 9.26 kilometers. Tunnel excavation speed is 180 meters per month, and each tunnel will be completed in about 12 months. This is a timeline of DBM number one and two. Total length of the tunnel between depot launching shaft and Kirino Highway Station is 1.5 km. Initial drive will start today, and the second one follows this two months later. After twice of system changes, the first TBM will arrive at Kirino Highway Station in the middle of December 2023. 
As mentioned before, KTM No. 1 and 2 will drive from Depo to Kirino Highway Station. After launching today, TBM will drive through Depo area for seven months. Then it will cross under the Turahan River in August, drive through residential area, Barangay Ugon, and arrive at Kirino Highway Station in December 2023. Next, TBM number three and four. TBM number three will launch from North Avenue Station in July 2023 and arrive at Tandasura Station in July 2024. After driving through residential area, TBMs will drive just under Mindanao Avenue. Finally, TBM number five and six. TBM number five will launch from Tandasura Station in August 2024 and arrive at Kirino Highway Station in August 2020. Senator Mark Villar, who has a special, who has played a special role for us to come uh, to this day, as he was the uh, former uh, Secretary of the Department of Public Works and Highways and uh, had a big hand in uh, getting this project going and keeping it going uh, so that we could uh, continue it until its uh, final fruition. Uh, Senator JV, good morning. And uh, the uh, Valenzuela First District Representative Rex uh, Gachalian, Minister and Deputy Chief of Mission of the Embassy of Japan, Mr. Matsuda Kenichi, the Japan International Cooperation Agency Chief, Representative Sakamoto Takema, Valenzuela City Mayor, Wes Gachalian, fellow workers in government, other distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. In Filipino, the words maayos and masagana can be combined in just one word, and that is manigo. So before anything else, I would like to greet all of you. Isang manigong bagong taon po sa ating lahat. With the launching of the tunnel boring machine of the Metro Manila subway project today, this is a very apt beginning for a year with renewed vigor and commitment to our mission to improve the lives of Filipinos. On this day, we also gain inspiration from the selfless individuals who constantly strive to turn our vision for the transportation sector into a grand reality. So together with the Department of Transportation and its private sector partners, we can only look forward as, as to better days after this recent development as this project will be the first subway system in the Philippines. We take pride in its construction as a landmark event. I thank uh, everyone who have toiled and continue to toil to ensure the realization of such an ambitious endeavor. I also take this opportunity to express our gratitude to the government of Japan and to JICA for being active partners in the fulfillment of our country's infrastructure program not only for this particular project, but in the many, many, many years past. The assistance of the Japanese government of JICA in particular, who, without which we could not have fulfilled many of our infrastructure programs. These tunnel boring machines highlight Japan's expertise and technology and trailblazing contributions in the modern world. And thus, I am confident that they will help us shape our railway infrastructure and keep them at par with the highest international standards. Similarly, I acknowledge the joint venture of Filipino and Japanese companies for working with the Philippine government on the Metro Manila Subway Projects Contract Package 101. I hope that both of you and the DOTR will get the project at the soonest possible time. Given our timelines, I would like to emphasize to our countrymen that big ticket projects such as this take years to be completed. So I ask not only for your continued patience, but also for your continued trust and support 
for the government. On this note, let the launching of this tunnel boring machine become a testament to this administration's commitment to continue the projects of the previous administration and, more importantly, build better more. We will continue to invest and improve on our transportation systems as well as to pursue more projects in the years to come so that Filipinos can, great, can gain greater access to places of work, commerce, recreation, and other vital areas. Having an effective and efficient transportation system will have multiplier effects on employment, the economy, our society. It will bring comfort, convenience, an easier life for all. So let our hopeful land be secure for our country and for our, our people. Muli, isang manigong bagong taon po sa ating lahat at magandang umaga po. Marami pong salamat sa inyo. Thank you, Mr. President.